Ugh, my stupid eyelids. Now, as usual, I am going to funk this look up. I'm going to mess it up. Hey guys, it's me, Sohela, and today I kind of just wanted to hang out and do makeup. It's one of those days where I am feeling extra red. I know I'm extra red. I was sunburned not that long ago. My shoulders and back is peeling and it's kind of disgusting. And my face was peeling, but I exfoliated, so <sighs> hopefully it doesn't peel anymore. I think it's all done on my face area. But, you know, since I feel so red, I feel like maybe doing a green look to counteract the redness <laughs> on my eyes, I mean. I was in San Francisco recently and everything was so like green and lush and beautiful and amazing. And I kind of want to bring some of that home. I, I miss the coolness. I already feel hot just being in Vegas. <laughs> if you've seen any of my videos from San Francisco, which if you go down below, there's a link to my other channel or at the end of this video, there'll be a link to my other channel as well. Being in San Francisco in July when the high was only 68 degrees was absolutely fabulous. Somehow I got burned from that, but it felt wonderful. <laughs> Not the burn, but the weather. So I kind of wanted to maybe just do some kind of a green look and we went to this Japanese tea garden and it was just so calm and peaceful and green is a very calming color. So maybe this green will calm my face <laughs> somehow. So anyways. Forgive my eyebrows, they're like cut off right here. I was planning on doing like a Vulcan type eyebrow, like a straight eyebrow maybe, but it never happened and so then I just had the tails of my eyebrows cut off. So oh my goodness. I feel like it's more red than my usual tomato face. So as kind of like a transitional color up here I'm gonna use the Jcat Beauty in Hollywood I'm probably gonna use this like orangey color because it's a little warm but I mean like warmer than my skin tone all right then I'm gonna go with my old old as hell ancient trusty um, coastal scents palette the one that's falling apart <laughs> Are you okay? You alright? I'm on a bright, grassy, bright green. But I don't know... Okay, I'm just going with it. As usual, as per usual, I have no plan. Because that's how I roll, remember? Okay. And I, I, I don't know why, but every time I start my makeup, I hate it. Like, I hate the process. I love going through the process, but I always feel like, oh, this is terrible. Oh, this is ugly. And then, like, I know there's a pot of gold at the end of my rainbow. <laughs> but every step of the way, I feel like I'm fighting myself. This is such a bright, like, green screen green. I, I love it. Well, it's like kind of a mixture. Okay, I told you I wasn't going to show you, but, you know, it's like around this section, the greens. I love it. It's my favorite. I haven't found such vibrant greens anywhere else yet. Yet. Just want to blend. That's kind of looking poopy. Popeye, please don't want to go outside right now because the neighbors already think I'm weird. <laughs> Look at all that fallout. Uh. Yep, and the dog wants to go outside. You want to go outside, huh? Yep, you're looking at me with your big old peepers. Yeah? You want to go outside? Okay. We'll be back. <laughs> okay, I'm back, and of course... Everyone is outside. 
Oh, God. Oh, well. Anyways, let's get back. I'm going to go in with my other J Cat palette in Santa Monica, and I'm going to maybe throw in like a brownish just to kind of darken up the green a little bit. Oh, my. Yeah, I definitely should have done that. Maybe I should. If this is like that bad, I'm just going to like wash off and start again, but. Okay, now I'm gonna do that thing, that cool thing. <laughs> that cool thing that all the kids are doing. I just put a little dot of Fenty on my hand and I have a concealer brush. And I'm gonna block out a portion of the eye. Let's get close up, let's get, let's get all personal here. Um, I know everyone does it with a um, concealer, right? But I find I don't have a concealer that is like liquidy enough to make a nice straightish line. Even though this isn't like the best either, but I kind of like how I'm able to control it a little bit. And I never make this even. It never comes out quite right. And just as I said that, you got proof, so hope you're happy. Hope you're happy. Dang. Here we go on this freaking journey over here. Dang, I can't stop messing up. Ugh, my stupid eyelids. This one looks like way, whoosh, and this one's like, what? Oh my God, look what I found that I didn't even realize I had. This L'Oreal high intensity pigment in this bright green that I could have used and I totally forgot I had it. Maybe I will use it. Like on the outer portion and then do yellow on the very inside. Yes. I mean, <laughs> aren't I so cool? I'll use this like square brush. It's from somewhere on Amazon because I don't have a Morphe code. Okay, sorry. I'm not Jacqueline Hill. No, I don't know, I'm not feeling it. I don't feel like it's as intense as I want it to be. Come on, L'Oreal. You said intense. I'm gonna go with the Color Tattoo Pure Poo, Pure Pigments in the color Wild Gold. From Maybelline. Super old. But I liked it. How is that looking? little blush so that I don't look so pallida. This smells so sweet. This is Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Lip Color. It's, it smells like very sweet, like a dessert or something, like some kind of candy. I can't remember how much it was. Um. I got it at Broke Girl Cosmetics at their, their actual physical location. I'm going to leave the link now below for their website, which is newly established since July 27th. Very happy about that. The owners are the absolute best people ever. That's where I get a lot of makeup from. And since it's a, like a, a matte, I'm gonna go ahead and overline. Now as usual, I am going to funk this look up. I'm gonna mess it up. I am going to use these Kara eyelashes. They are number 102 and they're kind of like a big wispy oh my goodness I already messed something up oh all right so the lashes are on i um put on mascara like on my bottom lashes and i don't think that the lashes are that bad they're not as like i said dramatic and theatrical to me as what i'm used to with the creme brand but i kind of like these because they're sort of like a toned down version of my usual. And I feel very like cool. It's very summer, 
still with the green, the bright green. It almost reminds me of like a watermelon rind or something. Thanks for hanging out with me. Feel free to subscribe, give a like, if you want to hang out with me some more because I'm super cool, hit the notification bell, please. If you even stuck around this long. But if you did, you get a super duper cool trophy from me, personalized. I will draw something up for you <laughs> and email it to you if you leave your email address down below. Thank you. Love you. Bye.